no, no, no. Uh, I'm with you guys. So with exponent, if we have the same base a to the n times a to the m, same base, then we can keep the base and we add the exponent. Similar with division. If we have the same base, a to the n over a to the m, then we can subtract the exponent. Okay? This is the most important one. It's called power of a power. If we have a to the n to the a to the m, it's the same as a to the m, a to the n, like if we switch the power and we just multiply them. This is the most important one, okay? It's called power of a power. Here is an example. Um, for this one here, if we have different bases, but with same exponent, we can take the exponent as a common exponent, okay? Similar with, uh, with division, okay? If we have different bases, but same exponent, we can take it as a common exponent. And one thing you have to pay attention to is this one. This is, uh, whenever we have a to the n all to the m, it's multiplication. It's not power and then power, okay? Although it's called power of a power, but it's multiplication, okay? It's multiplication. Mm -hmm. Let me move to uh, practice. Like for this one here, 8 times 2 to the 4, okay? Ahlan, uh, Abdulillah. Uh, I have a question about the, the times because in the previous uh, question we uh -huh. the 3 to the power of 4 plus 3 to the power of 4 we added it and it became 5 we didn't add the exponents we had to we did 4 times 1 and 4 plus 1 is 5 why wasn't it 3 to the power of 12 because 3 to the power of 4 because, plus 3 to because... The... Because do you see this is the base of 3 and the power is 4? The base is a 3 and the power is 1, isn't it? So we're using this one here. When what if there's... Because uh, this is times, never mind. Okay, thank you. Okay, there we go. So um, to be able to solve this one, either you have to have the same base or the same power, isn't it? So in order for me to have the same base, yes, I can change 8 to be 2 of a power of something. So I know that 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, and 2 to the 3rd is 8. So good, I'm going to change 8 to be 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 4th, isn't it? So now, since we have the same base, we can just add the power. So 3 plus 4, so this is going to be 2 to the 7. So the answer is D. Okay? Okay, so this is the idea. You have to change bases in order for you to be able to apply the rule. Here we go. Now, solve for x. We need to solve for x. So this one here is similar to the one before. Like first, if I take the problem, it's going to be uh, 2 to the x times 2 to the fifth is equal to something. Can I change 32 to be 2 to something? Yes, because I know the 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the third is 8. And 2 to the fourth is 16. But 2 to the fifth is 32. So I'm going to use this one, isn't it? So instead of this 32, I'm going to write 2 to the fifth, isn't it? So now, for this one here, it's going to be 2x plus 5 is equal to, because the same base, there is multiplication, we can add the power, and this is going to be 2 to the fifth. So what's the idea? Whenever we have an equation, an equality, if we have the same bases, we have only to work with the power, okay? If we have the same power, then we have to work with the bases. In this case, we have the same bases, which is 2 and 2. So this problem here is going to be x 
plus 5 is equal to 5. We have to work only with the power, okay? So what does this mean? This means x is equal to 0. Because x plus 5 is equal to 5, there is only one choice, which is x equal to 0. Is it 1 or 2? Okay, so the idea is if we have the same basis, we work with the power. If we have the same power, we work with the basis, like this one here. Like this one here. Can we do this one? It's similar to the one before. I know this is going to be 3 to the x plus 10. It's this side here, isn't it? And then I have to change 27 to be something. So 3 to the 1 is a 3. 3 squared is 9. And a 3 to the third power is a 27. So I'm going to use this one. So this is going to be 3 to the third. Now, I have the same basis. So I'm going to work with the power, isn't it? So that means x plus 10 is equal to 3. I move 10 to the other side. So x is going to be negative 7. Let me know if it's 1 or 2. Do you see how easy the problem are? Like, they are easy. They're just like this. Uh, Khalid, Jawad, yes. Uh, you just move 10 to the other side. Okay, okay. 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 Let's just move it now. Let's just move 5 to the other side. Where is it? Ah. Which one? Is it this one? Let's yes. just move 5. So when you move 5 to the other side, it's going to be negative 5. So what's 5? Negative 5? Zero. 5, 0. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one is in the booklet, lean. But this one is just um, an extra one. Okay? Uh, doctor. Uh-huh. Can you go back? Yes, Bandar. How did the 3x plus 10 become x plus 10? This one. Do you see this one? Yes. We applied this one. So? Because we have 3 to the x times the 3 to the 10, it's a 3 to the x plus 10. So you divided 3 from the first side and divided 3 to the other side. No, 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 no. A to the N times A to the M is equal to A N plus M. Bender. And where did the 3 go, Doctor? Well, do you see this side has one A and A and this side has only one A? Yes. So this is the rule. It's called the product rule. Okay, thank you. So, so you have to um, you have to uh, review the rules of exponent then. Okay, Khalid, yes. Uh, Mister, can you explain the fifth law? The what? Sorry. The fifth law, the slide It's okay. um, it's Ayo. just that if we have different bases and common exponent, common power, we can take it as a common power. That's it. Dig two examples and show you when you call. Like if you have a 3 squared over 2 squared, this is the same as a 3 over 2 all squared. That's it. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, here we go. Like for this one, it says, what's half of something? Or what's one half of something? So that, this means this is one half. Of means product. So this problem now become one half times two to the sixth, isn't it? Isn't it? So now when we multiply, this is going to be two to the sixth over two. So now we apply in the division rule. So this is going to be two to the fifth. So the answer is A. A. Not Talal, we apply in the division rule. You guys, you have to uh, review the rules on page 18. For exponent. Okay. 
Um, what's it twice oh, to, to the elephant? Um, um, the, there is an echo. I can't hear you, Batul. Sorry. Um, um, for this question, it says one half, right? So uh -huh. uh, in the book, in the booklet we have, it says half. It's the same. It's the same? Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. What's it twice? So what's it twice? That means twice of something. So two times something. So for this one, it's going to be two times four to the 11. But in this one, I don't have the same bases, so I have to change bases. So this is going to be two times, here is 11. So this is going to be two squared because four is two squared. Now, I have to apply power of a power for the second one. And this is going to be two to the 22. Now we're using the product rule. This is one. So this is going to be two to 23. Okay, are we good with this one? Are we good? Is it one or two? Uh, all the rules are in page 18 in the top. If you look at page 18 in the top, you'll see the rules, okay? Here we go. Now, how many quarters in to the, to the 12? Quarters mean you have too many how many like if we say quarter, so like one fourth. So that means they have to divide something by four, isn't it? Or divide by four. So this is gonna be two to the 12 over four. So in this case, I, I don't have the same basis, so I have to change basis. So this is two to the 12 over two squared. Now, this is, now I use the division rule, which is 12 minus two, so this is going to be 2 to the 10. So the answer is A. Okay? Are we good? Okay. For the next one, I have 4 to the 3 plus 4 to the 4. Okay? Now, I need you to uh, pay attention for this one here. There is something called a common factor. We're going to take a common factor. So, if we have the same bases, we can take the base as a common factor. So for this one, four to the three plus four to the four, I can take four as a common factor because four and four. And then when I'm taking a common factor, I take four with the smallest power. I have four to the three, four to the four. I take the one with the smallest power. So I'm taking this. Now, if I take, pay attention, if I take a three out of a three, I left with what? If you take a three out of a three, you left with what? Zero. So this is going to be zero. If you take three out of four, you left with one. Make sense? I've taken a three out of a three, which is zero. I've taken a three out of four, I left with one. So now this is going to be four to the three. What's four to the zero is one plus four, isn't it? So this is going to be 4 to the 3 times 5. So the answer is D. Khaled, yes, what's your question? Sadma, I'm off him, actually. Khaled, we want to take a common factor, okay? This is 4 to something, this is 4 to something. So I take 4 with the smallest power. Which one is the smallest? This is a 3 or 4? Three. 3. So I take a 3 as a common factor. Now, I've taken a three out of a three. I left with what? Zero. Isn't it? I've taken a three out of a three. I've taken a three out of four. So I left with one. Okay. Okay. So I have four. I've taken a three. So I left with one. So now what's four to the power of zero is one. What's four to the power of one is one. Is uh, four, sorry. So what's one plus four? is five okay 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 how about the rest is it one or two and this one 
uh, is this rule part of the law of exponents? Will, uh... Yes, yes, we're going to solve problems using this rule now, okay? But which rule is it? One, two, it's three, taking, four, five? Taking a common factor. Taking a common factor. No, it's not uh, It's not one of those. But if you want to do this problem, Jawad, we're going to apply the same thing. Like, do you see this one here, Jawad? Mm -hmm. So 2 to the 50 minus 2 to the uh, 49. So now I have to take a common factor. So I take, what's the base of the common factor, Jawad? Is it 2 or what? Uh, yes, 2. 2. Isn't it? So yeah. what's the smallest power? 49. 49. So now we have 2 minus 2. For the first one, you take 49 into 50, you left with 1, isn't it? Yeah. And for the second one is 0. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to be what? This is going to be 2 to the 49 times what? Times, times, one. times 2 minus 1, which is 2 to the 49, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so now the problem now is going to be 2 to the 49, which is equal to 2 to the x, which is the problem here, isn't it? That's the problem here. This side here has become this one, isn't it? Now, what's x? Since we have the same bases, I just have to have the same power. So, sorry, this is 4, 9. Okay, so the answer is... Let me know. Uh, doctor. Uh huh. Uh, isn't it uh, negative two uh, powered by forty nine? No, it's not negative because this is two minus one. Two minus one is one. So even if in the equation they told me that it's a negative, I don't write negative. I did. There is negative here, and there is negative here. There is negative. But 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is times 1, which is the same as 2 to the 49. Yes, thank you. How about the rest? Is it clear? Or shall I just redo it again? Let me know. Ah, sorry, said Manish. Mm -hmm. um, you, from 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 0, how okay. come 2 became 1? Two, what's 2 to the 0 power? What's this? Yes, 2 to the power of 0. What's this? This is equal to what? To my knowledge, it means that 2 by itself, any 2 to the power of 1 is 2 times is two times 1. What's 2 to the power of 0? This is equal to what? What is it? This is 1. Oh, okay. So 2 to the power of 0 is always 1. Mm-hmm. What are you with 3 to the power of 0, for example? 1. We've done this here, I believe. 4 to the power of 0 is 1. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, let me make the slide clear. Do it again. Let's just do the problem again. So this is going to be 2 to the 50 minus 2 to the 49, which is equal to 2 to the x. I'll take 2 to the 49 as a common factor, so there's going to be 2 to the 1 minus 2 to the 0, which is equal to 2 to the x. Now, this is going to be 2 to the 49, 2 minus 1, which is 2 to the x. This is 2, 49, which is equal to 2 to the x, so the answer is 9. Okay. How about this, the second one? 